foot here, hand here, and you swing that leg up. Now that's nice how you job. get on a horse, girl. Awesome. The applause is well deserved. These are your reins. You hold on to those. Okay. Amani came to Horses with Hope in Bethel Park with a group of other students from Pittsburgh's Conroy School. The kids who visit here have mental and physical disabilities. On the farm, it's important that they never hear the word no. So often when you work with individuals with disabilities, they're told no, no, no. You can't do this. You won't get this. Our job is to tell them yes. Yes, you can, you will, and you are going to. Good. Horses with Hope is run by Ann Davis. She left her job in the airline industry and opened the nonprofit nine years ago after her daughter was born with Down syndrome. Through the research of Down syndrome, I came across therapeutic riding and it was a light went off. I knew instantly that I was to do this. Good job. Since its creation, the program has helped countless kids. The transformations in the children happen right before your eyes. Last time he visited, 16-year-old Gage refused to get on a horse. Nah, yeah. we're scared. No, 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 come on, we're going to do it together, right? With a little encouragement, though, he saddled up. That's my man, I find. Hi, <laughs> Yeah, you did it! He lit up, the confidence in himself radiating. I did it! I always say that every person that takes um, a step on this farm enters as one person and they leave a changed person. Oh, this program is such a special gift. The growth that I've seen in these kids has just been unbelievable. The horses not only help the kids with their self-confidence, but also with building their muscle tone and core strength. It ends up making them sit more upright, which opens up their airways, which helps with their breathing and their speech, and then it also works on their core muscles. By holding the rein and managing the horse, reaching for things, providing you know therapy skill sessions. Face pumpkin. An oval face pumpkin. Trisha Keen is a physical therapist at the Conroy School. She sees immediate oh, changes in the it. children and you behaviors that stick with them. It is such a gift and a blessing, not only to be able to work with these kids, but to be able to provide them a once in a lifetime Walk opportunity. On. Walk on. Good Good job. Job. A simple ride that's life changing. And sometimes we'll even see where they're nonverbal and they actually start to speak. Oh boy. And like we've seen time and time again, helping others has a profound effect on those giving the gift. What does this do for you? I get too emotional. <laughs>